What's good YouTube? It's your boy Jay Clark back for another YouTube video. And today, as y'all can see in the caption, um, I have bought a new car. I just want to thank each and every one of y'all because without y'all, I couldn't be doing any of this from the apartment to the cars to the stuff we have coming in the future. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to sit here and clickbait y'all and do a whole bunch of extras. I'm going to go ahead and get right to the video. So without further ado, here we go. Before we get to the new car, I want to show some appreciation to my old car. Well, not really my old car. I'm still going to be driving this. I had a Hyundai Sonata. It was fully loaded. Um, it was it was a great car. I mean, great gas mileage. Um, I drove it everywhere from high school. I started off with a minivan at first because my parents, that's what they put me in. <laughs> so it made me appreciate what I have now and all sorts of other stuff. But yeah, it was a great car. Had a lot of fun memories. I'm still actually going to drive it because of the great gas mileage. This sun's really in my eyes. But yeah, because of the great gas mileage. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the new car. I'm not going to sit here. The sun's in my eyes. I can barely keep them open. So here we go. Well, without any further ado, let's go ahead and start it up. So for y'all that aren't really educated in the car world, this is a Scat Pack Y body. It's older, you probably know the upgraded version of this, which is a Hellcat. Um, my parents didn't really want me to have a Hellcat. This car is extremely fast as well. It goes from zero to 60, I think it's 3.6 seconds. I had it fully loaded. I'm gonna, and for all you car people, I'm gonna take the yellow strip off, don't worry. I know that is just for shipping purposes. Um, I got the interior red. Let me open this up. Got an all red interior right here. The red, you see the nice Scat Pack logo. I went the, with the Arcantara seats, which is basically kind of like this suede interior and then leather outside. Um, you know how this thing goes. Um, with the challengers there's no back seat at all so for how tall i am not so much back seats left which really isn't and then of course i had to get a sunroof since i live in southern california there's a few things about this car that kind of shocked me for example the gas mileage on this thing non-existent bro one of the main reasons i'm keeping this sonata because the gas mileage on this thing sucks um i'm not really a fast driver i drive pretty smooth so i've been averaging about 20 miles 20 miles per gallon but my Sonata gets like 35, 36. So I'll, be, I'll still be driving. If you see me, you probably will see me in that Sonata. I'm not gonna lie. I won't really be in this. Um, my license plate's not on the front, it's only on the back right now. I know California is a two plate state, but I think I should be fine. But yeah, guys, this is the new whip. Um, I took a lot of time. So actually, I ordered three. I ordered a white Challenger at first, it was just a narrow body. No wide body, just a normal scat pack. No sunroof. I really didn't know what I was doing. And then I ordered a scat pack just like this one right here. But I didn't put the, the I made it a manual. I didn't make it an automatic. And I can't drive manual. Let, actually, let me know in the comment section if you could drive a manual or not. I can't drive manual. So I had to go ahead and reorder it again and get the automatic. And yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it's a very, very extremely fun car to drive. You get all the little um, cute stuff. You get the little remote push to start, so if I click it, it's gonna cut off. If I click it twice again, all oh, the doors open, hold oh, let me close the door. As you get the remote push to start, um, you get the, a lot of legal horsepower, like a Hellcat, 707 horsepower. If you get a Red Eye 797, you can't really use that. You would spin out and stuff. Um, like I said, it's just a fun car. People are always acknowledging you when you drive these. Like a guy just literally came down the street. I stopped recording for a quick second. It was like, oh my God, can I see it? And I showed him the inside and stuff. So it was real cool. It's a feel good. And like the Mopar community is really like a strong community. Every time you go and driving down the street, if you see somebody else in a Challenger or a Charger or a Jeep, Trackhawk, whatever they're in, Durango, they all stop, wave, say how nice the cars are, stuff like that. Yeah, but I mean, it was really cool. Um, like I said, just being able to achieve something. Luckily, with the new college rules and stuff, we can make money. And it's just kind of more achieving the goal. Like, this has been my dream car for a while now. Like, obtainable right now, if you know what I mean. Like, a, a dream car, a dream car would be like a McLaren or something. But for this year, I wanted that. I got it right before the year was over. So that was also really cool. I was ecstatic to do that. And then I got to personally, like, build it and make it exactly how I want it. So everything that I want is there. 
if you know what I mean. So yeah, I mean, it's just really cool. I'm thankful, I'm blessed. Um, I'm happy also because season's starting, so I really won't be able to really drive it like that because as y'all know, we travel and stuff. And it's getting to the, the fun part of season. We're into to, um, league right now. And then, you know, March Madness is really around the corner. This stuff flies by really fast. Um, look for a little bit of content. I'm not really a big driver. I'm not, Like I said, I don't be speeding, doing the dash, drifting and stuff. I just, finally, I just learned how to burn out for the first time in those. And you know, we have these big 305 tires right here. So I got a little I got a little bit of rubber I can burn if you get what I mean. I got the red SRT six pistons on the front, four pistons on the back, if you get what I mean. And this chunk space, I'm not gonna lie, is actually pretty crazy. They pop the chunk. Ah, dang bro. There we go. The chunk space is deep back here. Real deep. Um, I know. So, like, for this one, it isn't as loud as a Hellcat. I'm not going to do no mid-muffler deletes or anything. I did buy it. I'm not leasing it. And that's a temporary plate, so I don't really care if y'all see it. So, like, if I start it up. For me, that's good, if you get what I mean. I'm not there as good. I'm not trying to, like, go ahead and wake up neighborhoods and stuff like that with this. This is just so if I want to pop out on the weekend or if we're doing something a little bit more classy or high end where I don't want to pull up in my Sonata, I'll go ahead and pull up in this. I'll be having both of these cars. Like I said, I'm really going to be driving my Sonata because if you don't live in California, gas is over $5 where I stay personally. And this thing is a gas guzzler. Like it eats up gas like crazy. So I don't really have enough money to be putting in three, four hundred dollars a week every week to be driving it so that's that's not logically smart so i'm gonna be in my sonata still um i don't want y'all to think this is a flexing video or nothing like that this is more used as motivation a year ago if you would told me i would be able to buy this car and get my apartment stuff that i'm doing i would have thought you guys were lying to me with no income just a, a basketball player just going trying to live out his dreams it really didn't seem obtainable if you know what i mean so i'm really happy that i was able to do this i'm gonna be i know i always say this bro but i'm gonna be putting videos consistently like i promise you i am there's no reason i shouldn't have that's one of like my 2022 goals is to finish the year out with 100k we got to 27,000 really fast we kind of plateaued because of my content i don't be posting as frequently as i should so we're gonna go ahead and knock that out but yeah, I just want to thank y'all again so much for allowing me to have this. And I'm going to go ahead and take y'all on a little ride with me. And then we're going to end the video. So without further ado, I thank y'all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.